I have retired with over $100,000 in student debt. Margie Patterson, a special education teacher, retired drowning in student loans at the age of 60. You're out of here. This is how retirement is supposed to be. And now she's gearing up to go back to work. I, I, I just can't afford to take that break. This student here is one of my favorite students. About half of all educators have taken out student loans to fund their schooling. Outstanding balances average to $58,700, and one in eight owe $105,000 or more. That's the reality for Margie. I think I was, yeah, about 38, 39, and I went back to school for my master's in special education. And I, I didn't have the money on hand to pay for my master's degree, so I started um, taking out loans then. She took out about 80000 to fund her education and has been making monthly payments for most of her 23-year career in teaching. Still, the balance grew and stood at over 100000 when she retired. There's a couple of reasons that come together to make student debt so common among teachers. The first reason is that in order to increase your pay, you need to have a graduate degree. Second, tuitions have gone up for graduate programs even more notably than they've gone up for undergraduate programs. And a third layer is that when teachers borrow for a graduate degree, and what many people don't realize is that your graduate degree borrowing it constitutes most student level borrowing. And so whenever we've heard the $1.7 trillion student loan debt balances, this is by and large paying for graduate degrees. My degree here, my master's of art, Earning a master's did help me earn more pay. Overall, $15,000 more on the pay scale. The thing is, is when you are in a contract with, with a district, once you reach that top step, that's it. I set at that same pay for like seven years. It's well known that teachers are underpaid. Estimates vary, but it's generally accepted to be between 5, 10 to maybe 20 percent of teachers are underpaid in comparison to similarly educated peers. If we're not paying teachers as much, those loan balances are going to shrink at a much slower rate. Typical loan payoffs are, are within about 10 years, um, and for some teachers, particularly if we're going to an income-based repayment plan, which many teachers do, those loans aren't fully paid off for 20 to 25 years. Honestly, I really thought that I was going to qualify for the teacher loan for getting this program because that there is like 17500 a school year that can be wiped away if you work in a low-income community for five years straight, which I have did nothing but worked in a low-income community for 23 years. Teacher Loan Forgiveness is a federal program which teachers who work at low-income schools or other qualified schools for five consecutive years can apply for. Margie's application was denied. Here's the kicker. I covered all my bases, but just one stipulation. If you have any loan out prior to 1998, that disqualifies you for the program. And that right there, I think is so unfair because all my student loans will be wiped out right now. Margie now plans on applying for Public Service Loan Forgiveness, or the PSLF program. This is a program, as long as um, a person is working in public sector or nonprofit sector, then um, that person is eligible after 10 years of paying on an income-based repayment loan, they are eligible to have the remainder of their debt wiped, uh, paid off in full. So which it's actually a very generous program, at least in paper. But it's rife with problems. Teachers and firefighters say the program hasn't been forgiving at all, with a 99% rejection rate. In 2020, it was 94%. In order to qualify for the PSLF program, 120 payments need to be paid as a working teacher. 
Margie still has 92 of those required payments to go. That's eight more years of payments. As teachers return to classrooms, the new school year brings an unwelcome return to normal. The pandemic freeze on payments is set to end early next year, meaning teachers have to start repaying their student loans again. I risked my life for whole school year to teach. I had students online and in front of me teaching every day. Why am I still paying student loans?